Welcome to the course on analog design, interview questions and gate questions solved. Hi, my name is Dr. G.S. Chavit and I'll be a course instructor going forward. In this course, hello, in this circuit we see a bridge circuit connected in a feedback along with an op amp. The problem definition is to find the bridge output voltage for a delta of 0.05. Now, before we begin, we have an op amp which is present here and let us assume the op amp is ideal. And for any ideal op amp, we know that the inverting and non-inverting terminals are equal and this is obtained from the equation that V0 is equal to AV times the input differential voltage. For an uh, ideal op amp, AV0 is equal to infinity. So, we get VID which is V plus minus V minus is equal to 0, is equal to 0, not infinity. So, this is called V plus equal to V minus. This in an op amp is called a virtual ground. So, we will be using this to identify the value over here. Now, the input is given to the non-inverting terminal and that value is 1 volt. Now, the same value since it is a virtual ground will appear here too. And uh, one more we understand that the value of current flowing within the op amp is going to be 0. So, whatever the current that is generated in that circuit will flow in the current that will flow here. So, the current that is going to flow through this resistor is found out as I is equal to 1 volt by 50 ohm which is 20 milliampere. Now, the same 20 milliampere has got only two parts to flow. So, one there is there is no current flowing into the op amp. So, whatever the current that is flowing into the 50 milliampere will now go into the 100 milliampere source. So, this is 20 milliampere. Now, this 20 milliampere when it is flowing, it is flowing downwards in this direction and then it is flowing current back here. So, the current starts flowing through here then splits into two, uh, two parts and then continues again in these two parts and then flows into this path. So, the current I1 and current I2 cumulatively is equal to 20 milliampere. So, that gives us I1 plus I2 equal to 20 milliampere. Now, with that shown, the total value of the resistance, the total current that is flowing is the same. Now, since the there is a 100 kilo ohm, 100 ohm on the top side and 100 on the bottom side, so the effective current that is flowing through them is going to be the cumulative effect. Now, we have uh, the two branches it is getting split. So, in this case if you see the total value of each branch is 250 times 1 plus 1 minus delta and 250 times 1 plus delta. Likewise on the other side you see it 250 times 1 minus delta and here you see 250 times 1 plus delta. So, the effective currents on both sides is same. So, in this case 
i1 is equal to i2. So, when i1 is equal to i2, it is one half of the 20 milliampere. So, it is 10 milliampere is the current that is flowing. Okay. So, this is the total amount of current that is flowing. Now, to find out what is the value of V0, let us define the nodes, three nodes present here as node A, node B and node C. So, the value of V0 is given as VB minus VA. Why VB? Because VB is the positive terminal and VA is the negative terminal. Now, this can be further divided if you can take a common point with respect to each other. This can now be written as the value output V0 is given as V B C minus V A C with reference to the common uh, node. Now, what is V B C? V B C is the voltage drop across this resistor. V A C is the voltage drop across this resistor. So, we can find that V B C is 250 into 1 plus delta times I2. I2 is how much? Into 10 milliampere minus Oops, uh, sorry, I think there was a mistake in the question. Let me correct it. So, so the correction is this is actually flipped. So, this is 1 plus delta and this is 1 minus delta. Okay. Just figured it out when I was solving the problem. Now, so this now value is given as VBC is 1 minus delta minus VAC that is 250 into 1 plus delta times 10 milliampere. Right, which is I1. So, now if you take it up here, if you multiply, so two, 250 into 10 milliampere, if you take it out, 2500 times 1, you have 250 into 1 place places, 1 minus delta, minus into minus 1 is minus 1, right? minus 1 into minus delta is minus delta. So, this is equal to 2500 times minus 2 delta. Now, that you have to that you have found out what is V0. Now, V0 is given as for uh, delta equal to 0 0.05 we get V0 is equal to 2500 times minus 2 times delta value is 0 0.05 right and this is in millivolt right because here you have taken milliampere into ohm it is millivolt. So, if you multiply this this is minus 0 0.1 times here into millivolt. So, the V naught effectively is minus 250 millivolt. So, this minus 250 millivolt is V B minus V A is minus 250 millivolt. If we swap the terminals, you would get V A minus V B is equal to 250 milli volt positive. Now, there is one way of this getting 250 milli volts. Uh, 
Now, way to do it is if we change this values. If you swap these two on the other side, instead of making this negative, if you make this as 1 minus delta and this as 1 plus delta, then you would see the terminals interchange and get depending upon the value. Thank you.